how quick Maidstone are in the National League top division already after one season in the Conference South. Tension all around Stonebridge, only 3,500 could attend the game. More of that later. Anyway, Maidstone came out all guns blazing. The first 90 minutes was all Maidstone. How they didn't take the league lead, I don't know. Ashmore making some great saves. You know, there was a penalty appeal turned down. Then from nowhere, Ebsfleet got the other end. They win the penalty. Danny Cadwell, he scores. 1-0 to Ebsfleet. Mason, where the better team, Ashmore making more good saves in the first half to keep it at 1-0 to Ebsfleet. Second half, from nowhere, a brilliant, brilliant individual goal from Bobby Joe Taylor. Say it like that. <laughs> what a goal. Absolutely fantastic goal. One that looked out of place in the Champions League final. 1-1. Mainston still look like they're going to nick it. Ebsfilly tried their best but couldn't really get into any rhythm in this game. They never looked like they were going to score from open play. But... All schools level, extra time, first 15 minutes, nothing to report. Then, dramatic 50 minutes in the second period. Another penalty to Ebbs Fleet United, Danny Kendall steps up. You know it, he scores 2-2, two, 2-1, two, two, sorry, 2-1. Two, but with minutes left with Ebbs Fleet looking like they're the ones going up. Up steps a player, I can't pronounce his name. We'll just call him DD. Well, we'll use his initials. E school C equaliser, we're into a penalty shootout. The first two penalties for both sides was brilliant, all level. Then up steps Bonner for Ebbs Fleet United, and he misses. Advantage, Maidstone, but the guy who scored the equaliser to make it 2-2, he steps up and he misses, so we're all level. Then, again, I don't know how to describe this, Danny Kedwell steps up. All the, he has to score to keep Ebbs Fleet in it. But Wogan makes a brilliant save to deny Kedwell his third penalty and victory to Maidstone. Whew. That's the best I can do, okay? It was, it was a really dramatic game. I said, I'm from Kent and I like both sides and I want to see both sides in the Football League. I'm going to say Ebsfleet and Maidstone will be in the Football League. Well, mark my word. Next season, Ebsfleet will win the Conference South. The ground's been redeveloped. And I said they have got a lot of good backing. For Mason, it just gets better and better. I'm glad to see they're moving in the right direction. The Football League, I'm going to stick. There's still a lot to do at Mason. Could they do it next season? If they do, that will be an achievement. But I think all Mason want to do is just stay in the league, sort of make, just make it mid-table, that will do for Mason. It's going to take time, I think Mason will just build and build, i say under th three years to four years, Mason will be back in the Football League. Ebbsfleet might get there first, but as I said, Mason and Ebbsfleet will make it to the Football League. Hopefully Dover Athletic will join four Kent clubs in the Football League would be fantastic. Now, I was thinking, why was the game played at Stonebridge Road, Northfleet? Now, I'm not saying it should have been played at the Gallagher Stadium. I'm not being trying to make anything out of this. Would have been a much easier walk, I've got to admit, but shouldn't the game have been played at Priestfield, 11,000? What God, you would have got a bigger gate. Honestly, that game could have easily sold six to seven thousand comfortably, you know, if not more. So I 
think the venue playing it at Stonebridge Road was a mistake. Should have been played at Priestfield. Bigger capacity. You know. But it wasn't. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video there. That was a dramatic final. Congratulations to Maidstone. I absolutely forget about it. You're going to win. You're going to win the Van der Rama South Conference next season. Guarantee it. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. My voice is kind of gone. I'm knackered. Good night.